Hey guys, I want to talk to you a minute or two about cages. A lot of people ask me, well, what, how big is a, a, a cage should I have my bird in? Well, I'm just going to say as big as you can afford, as big as you have room for in your house. I mean, that's what the bird likes. So it's like you, you don't want to be confined to a closet. You know, you'd like to be in a room at least. So in the size of him, you know, confining him to a little bitty cage may be uh, like living in a closet. So, you know, maybe you're where you live in an apartment or whatever, or wherever you live, doesn't, doesn't afford you the ability to have a big cage. Everybody doesn't have room for a big cage. Okay, well, do what you can. Take the bird out as much as you can to give him some home interaction. But as far as cages go, you know, as big a cage as you can have. Bigger cages you got room for, bigger cages you can afford. Because the bigger the cage, the bigger the price tag. You know, if you can afford an outdoor walk-in Avery, man, that's great. Everybody can't. You know, everybody don't have room for that. Everybody don't have a place for that. A lot of our birds are in, in uh, Avery's or in, you know, bigger cages, like 10-foot cages. Everybody can't can't afford that, don't have the room for that. We got six acres, so we got enough room for that. But everybody doesn't. And your bird will appreciate whatever room you can give him, even if it's just a smaller cage with a tea perch over here or a play gym where it can come out, you know, and interact with the family or whatever. But caging is very important. You know, take your bird out as much as you can. You don't want to get cage bound. You know, as big a cage as you can afford is the best cage. You know, these little parakeet cages like this, you know, that's a travel cage. It's not really a permanent cage for a parakeet. Cocktail cage like this, you know, it's not really a permanent cocktail cage. I see ringnecks in cages, conures in these little 12 by 12 by 18 cages, you know, or 18 by 18 by 24. You know, if you have a bird in that small a cage, uh, I encourage you to get a bigger cage. You know, the bird really, for his own mental health, you know, for the way that, that he's perceiving the world around him, it's better for him to have a bigger cage. You know, uh, this question we get all the time, it's a hot topic, cage size, bigger the better. You know, you want him to be able to put his wings out, flap his wings, and not beat on the side of the cage. When he's standing in the cage and it's, he's a long-tailed bird, like a macaw or an Alexandrian or something, he's got a long tail, you don't want his tail being all torn up on the wire on the bottom of the cage. So the cage needs to be tall enough that the bird can actually stand in it without rubbing its head, rubbing its tail, or open its wings where they're not beating on the side of the cage. That's a general, a general rule of thumb. Bigger, better up to you guys if you have any questions comment below i'll try to answer them for you as honest as i can meanwhile remember to subscribe to our channel for some great tips and updates at bird world be sure to check out some of our other videos and keep living the bird life see you guys bird man